Hello boys and girls, my name is Miss Delia. I'm a third grade teacher at Herlock. Today I'm going to be reading you a book called Latka the Lucky Dog. And if you notice, I have one candle lit on my menorah because tonight is the first night of Hanukkah. If you don't know about Hanukkah, Hanukkah is an eight day festival of lights that celebrates the victory of the Maccabees over the mighty armies of the Syrian king. According to legend, when the Maccabees came to restore the holy temple in Jerusalem, they found one jug of pure oil, enough to keep the menorah lit for just one day. But a miracle happened and the oil burned for eight days. On each night of the holiday, we add an additional candle to the menorah, exchange gifts, play the game of dreidel, and eat latkes and jelly donuts, which are fried in oil, to remember this victory for religious freedom. I am one lucky dog. Imagine a mutt like me picked as a Hanukkah present. It happened one day in December when a family walked into the shelter, a mom, a dad, and two kids, Zoe and Zach. Zach said, I want a big dog. Uh-oh, I thought, I'm not big. But Zoe said, I want a little dog that'll fit in my doll stroller. I tried to curl up as small as possible, but I'm not little. Then mom said, let's compromise and look for a medium sized dog. Yep, that's me. I danced around and wagged my tail. Finally, they noticed me. Dad said, look at this one. He's playful, medium sized and golden brown like a fried latke. And that's how it happened. They took me home on the first night of Hanukkah and named me Latka. I am one lucky dog. As we came into the kitchen, something smelled delicious. This is my home, I thought, so I hopped up on a chair and helped myself. But Zoe said, Latka ate all the jelly donuts. Then Zach patted me on the head and said, poor hungry Latka. They didn't feed you enough at the shelter, did they? Thanks, Zach. I am one lucky dog. On the second night of Hanukkah, boxes wrapped in paper and bows were on the floor. I'm the new guy, so they must be for me, I figured. I tore them open, but there was nothing for a dog. Look what Latka did, said Zach. He tore our presents. Time for me to hide behind the chair. But Zoe picked me up and said, you were just trying to help, weren't you, cutie pie? We'll wrap them back up and pretend nothing happened. Thanks, Zoe. I am one lucky dog. On the third night, I smelled something frying. Now don't touch those, Mom said, shaking her finger at me. Latkes, shouted Zoe. Dinner for me, so I ate them all. Bad dog, said Mom. You heard your name, didn't you, said Zach. We can still have Hanukkah without latkes. Whew, I am one lucky dog. On the fourth night, I tried to spin Zoe's dreidel, but it got chewed up. Zoe said, oh no, Latka, that was my favorite one. Uh-oh, this time she didn't call me cutie pie. Zoe, Zach, and I played chase on the fifth night. Oops, we knocked over the bowl of applesauce. Time to hide behind the chair again. On the sixth night, I saw something shiny on the floor next to the dreidels. I'm not chewing those dreidels again, I thought, but I take a few sniffs and licks to investigate. Zoe ran to dad. Latka slobbered all over the chocolate Hanukkah gelt. Maybe we picked the wrong dog, said dad. No, no, I'm the right dog. I love it here. I just need to learn the rules. On the seventh night, I found colored sticks on the table. Chew toys, maybe? but they get stuck in my teeth, yuck. Look, cried Zoe, Latka chewed all the candles. Now we can't light the menorah. This time Hanukkah is really ruined. But Zach took the waxy mess out of my mouth. A little dog slobber didn't bother him. We can use our other menorah with the wicks and oil, just like the Maccabees did, he said. I think I get it now. I eat just what's in my dog dish, but I hope it's not too late. On the last night of Hanukkah, I tried extra hard to be good. Before dinner, my family gave me a present. 
Here, Laka, you cutie pie. This is for you. Open it, said Zoe. Rip off the paper, said Zach. No way. I just sat there like the perfect pet. I don't want to go back to the shelter. Finally, they opened it for me. It's a chew toy for our own Laka. You can chew this all you want, said Zoe. For me, my very own chew toy, what a great family I have. I am one lucky dog. And that is the end. Thank you boys and girls for joining me. I hope you enjoyed my story and don't forget to tune in tomorrow to see who will be reading next.